All right, calculus students and general seekers of truth, we are going to see some examples here of the fundamental theorem of calculus in action. So we have some area functions defined and we're asked to find the derivative of them. So here, g prime of x, and we're assuming here that a uh, is constant for all of these cases. Well, then g prime in this case is nothing more than the sine of x squared. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So, but what this says is something quite profound, that sine of t squared has an antiderivative. The, its antiderivative is g of x, which is the area function for um, sine of t squared. Yeah. Now, let's move on. In this case, you should notice right away that you have this integral from a to x squared here. So the fundamental theorem of calculus doesn't quite apply. So what we're going to do is we're going to define a different function where the FTC does apply. Whoops, I did not mean to include this square here. All right, let's try that again. And this is cosine of t dt. Now you would want to just say that the answer, the, let, let, me, let me give you one false answer here. The answer is definitely not cosine of t squared, okay, it, or x squared even. Not the cosine of t squared, not the cosine of x squared, none of that. All right? We would want to do that, um, and that's very tempting, but I'll show you why it's false. So if we define a function f of x, where the fundamental theorem does apply, then we can say that f prime, big F prime here, is equal to cosine of x, which is good. Now let's think of, let's relate g and f, okay? Isn't g nothing more than f of x squared? In other words, if we take x squared and we plug it in here for x, this becomes an x squared and we have um, g. Okay, so let me, let me show you. So if we do f of x squared, then we have the definite integral from a to x squared of cosine of t dt. Okay. So this is precisely the same, same thing as g. Okay, so now we define term g in terms of f. So now we take the derivative of both sides. g prime then is equal to and now you have to be careful because we have the chain rule in action. f prime of x squared times the derivative of the inside function, which is 2x. But what is f prime of x squared? Well, we're taking x squared and we'll plug it into here. So we get cosine of x squared times 2x. So really, um, what this says is that we're applying, we need to apply the chain rule when we come to a question like this, where one of the limits of integration is not x, right? It, the FTC only applies if this limit here is x, but since it's x squared, when, when it, we take its derivative, we also need to multiply by the derivative of this expression. So now let me move on here with another example. Let's learn from the previous one and know that the answer is not, it is definitely not sine of x to the fourth. Okay, we want to just take x squared here and plug it in, but it isn't true. The answer is in fact g prime is equal to sine, and we are going to plug in x squared and square it, so we will get x to the fourth, but we also have to multiply it by the derivative of the x squared function. So that's going to be 2x. So our final answer is going to be 2x sine of x to the fourth. So that is well, one important idea uh, to take away from here.